alien earring. Following up from the dark matter video, I was asked what dark energy is, and so let's break it down. Dark energy, similar to dark matter, is kind of one of those things uh, that is still being figured out. The presence of it is inferred through observations of visible matter, uh, kind of interacting in a different way, in a weird way. Uh, my general understanding of dark energy is that the universe, if it didn't have dark energy, it would collapse upon itself with the amount of matter visible and dark that exists. So there has to be a counterforce, and that's where dark energy comes in. And um, because dark energy is an opposing force of dark matter, that just means instead of it being an inward force, it's an outward force. So it's pushing everything out away from each other. And this is also one of the um, theories around the expansion of the universe, a contributing factor to the expansion of the universe, that um, with this outward force happening, um, that would help explain why the universe seems to be expanding, uh, which is a visible observation. It looks like things that are further away from each other are moving away from each other at a much faster rate than things that are closer to each other. So if you look at the Andromeda galaxy, uh, we are gravitationally bound with the Andromeda galaxy. So we're somewhere around 2.5 million light years apart from each other, but we're gonna compare that to galaxies that are billions of light years away from us. And that is very, very far away. And those galaxies that are really far away from us, um, if we were to try to send a signal to them by light, sending light to them, uh, it would never reach them. And that's because they're moving away from us at a speed that's faster than light speed. And the speed of light, um, I've got a necklace that says it, just don't have it on today. Um, that's about 300 million meters per second. Uh, so it's traveling at 300 million meters every second. And these galaxies are moving away from us at that rate. So it doesn't mean that like the galaxy feels this speed that it's like, okay, bye. It's that the space between us and that galaxy is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's because the universe is expanding. And so this uh, kind of dis this discovery of, of measuring distances of galaxies to our very own galaxy has led to the assumption that there must be some other force at play that must be an opposing force to dark matter, an opposing force to a gravitational force. And when we think of gravity, you think of pulling inward, this is something that's pushing outward. And so um, that's where the theory of dark energy comes from. So that's about everything I'm gonna say about dark matter um, and dark energy. There is still so much more to be discovered. Uh, there is still so much work being done in the field of both of these things, um, specifically in particle physics, because uh, the exact composition and makeup and what the particles actually are that make up dark matter are still such a mystery. What dark energy is made of, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no one really knows that yet. Um, but what gets me really excited is just thinking about all the instruments uh, that can be developed to help discover more about these mysterious phenomena that are happening in our universe, that we can observe the effects that it's having on visible things, but maybe we can also uh, possibly detect it um, and, and, and visualize it almost in a more materialistic way, even though these are not actual materials. Um, but we were able to do that with light, and I believe we can do that with dark energy one day. Uh, so I'm going to sign off there. Bye, guys. Um, live long and prosper. Ad Astra. All the fun space sign-off comments. Bye.